let's dig in. Happy New Year. I'm Erin and I thought what better way to start off 2024 than with a video we all know and love. So today I will be letting the person in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours. So first stop is Panera Bread. Hi, can I get the same thing um, that the person in front of me just ordered? The same exact thing? Yes, please. Okay, you can pull around. Thank you. Why is that so like stressful and awkward? She's like, the same exact thing? Yes, please. <laughs> Can I? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I threw the receipt in the bag. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank Happy you. Day. Thank you, too. I got my food, and my total was $33. And then I also got this, which I'm pretty sure is a green iced tea, and I swear, if it is an unsweetened green iced tea, I'm pretty sure they're just, like, taunting me at this point. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> but I don't know what I got. So let's just open everything up and find out. All right, these are croutons, so there must be a salad somewhere. Um, it looks like this bag has a lot of bread in it. <laughs> and, ooh, mac and cheese. Okay. All right, and then we got a sandwich. I don't know what it is. Let me check the receipts. A half a tuna salad sandwich. Okay, I don't really love tuna, um, so we'll see how this is. Okay, this is the salad. That looks very good. I don't know what it is though. Um, let me see. Asian crunch chicken salad. Okay. I feel like that might be really good. And then we have two soups in here. This is bistro soup. I don't know what that means. And this is broccoli and cheddar soup. I love Panera Bread's broccoli and cheddar soup. Um, I was hoping to get breakfast, but I did sit here for quite a while before anybody came, so it's not really breakfast time anymore. But this all sounds delicious, so let's dig in. <laughs> okay, I really want to try this salad first because I don't know exactly what it's going to taste like. Some of these other things I've tried before, but... All right, let's put the dressing on it. All right, I don't know about you, but that looks delicious. So. Let's take a bite. This is pretty good. Definitely can tell that it's like Asian-y. I love whatever that dressing is, is really good. And then the chicken is seasoned so nicely. I didn't even know they had anything like this on their menu, but this is like totally something I would order again. Okay, I am very curious to see what this tea tastes like. What the heck? 
All right. I will admit it is not as awful as all of the other green teas I've gotten doing these videos. It does taste like, I don't know if there's like a splash of lemonade in it, but it does have like a slight sweetness to it. But out of all of the drinks at Panera Bread, of course I would get a green iced tea. <laughs> okay, let's try this sandwich. It is a tuna salad sandwich, but it actually looks very good. And whatever bread this is, I don't know if this is a ciabatta roll, does it say? Yeah, I don't know what kind of bread this is, but looks good. So let's take a bite. I don't really love tuna, but honestly, for a tuna salad sandwich, like, this is not bad. This is not something that I would order for myself, but, like, eating it, like, I don't hate it, if that makes sense. Not bad. All right, let's have some mac and cheese because... I know, I love their mac and cheese. <laughs> mm. That is good. So did you guys do anything crazy for New Year's Eve? We did nothing. <laughs> Hopefully next year we'll like have some friends to do something with. But this year was just like a chill laid back year. Did you guys set some New Year's resolutions? I really like never do, but this year I have some goals that I really want to achieve. We just bought our house and I really want to finish all of the projects that we haven't been able to do so far um we haven't been able to finish our kitchen or our backyard so I don't know if that's really like a resolution um but really just like focusing on our house is something that I really want to do and then also my goal for this year with YouTube is you're all gonna think I'm crazy but dreaming big okay I would love to end out 2024 with 100,000 subscribers. So clearly I have a long ways to go, but I am so committed and determined to reach that goal. Um, and I truly believe in the power of manifestation. You know, I believe what you put out in the world comes back to you. And if you speak it to existence and you pray for it, it will come your way. So I am putting it out there into the universe that I will end this year with at least 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Is it just me or do you guys love to dip your bread in mac and cheese? <laughs> Panera Bread has the best bread. <laughs> Their broccoli and cheddar soup and the um, mac and cheese are like my go-tos. So whenever I come here... I always get a pick two and like that's what I get is this and the mac and cheese. So I'm very happy with these two. And then that salad was also very good. 
And the sandwich, honestly, wasn't so bad. I will have leftovers for days, though. <laughs> this is just the start of the video, so who knows what I'm going to get for the rest of the day. 2024, though, is going to be such a great year. I can, like, I can feel it. <laughs> It's our wedding year. And our honeymoon year. And hopefully, there's really nothing that I would love more than to end out the year telling our family that we're going to have a baby. I want a baby so bad. And our wedding is in October. So after that wedding, it's baby making season. <laughs> okay, let's try this last soup and then I will be on my merry way until lunchtime. Can you see it? I want to spill it. This is their bistro soup. It looks like French onion soup. I don't know if that's what it is. I feel like it is. I love French onion soup. Let's see. Okay, no, it's not. That tastes like a cup of soy sauce. What the heck is that? Okay, honestly, I don't know what this is. I don't like it. <laughs> Everything else was bomb, but yeah, this literally tastes like a bowl of soy sauce. And I am not here for it. <laughs> okay, so I looked it up and that is supposed to be their French onion soup. And then these aren't for the salad, they're for the French onion soup, I guess. Instead of putting like a piece of bread in it and it gets soggy, they give you like little like crouton kind of things. But that is the worst French onion soup I've ever had. Not too dramatic. <laughs> that probably sounds so dramatic, but that was just not very good. Um, Sorry, Panera. I love you and I love your soups, but your French onion soup is not it. <laughs> Okay, so honestly, I think the best thing that I got was that salad. That salad was very good. I am bringing the rest home with me and eating it probably tomorrow for lunch. Um, and then after that, I would definitely say the mac and cheese and the broccoli and cheddar soup are pretty like neck and neck. Those are always like my go-to, so of course I enjoy them. But I'm glad I tried that salad because I will definitely be ordering that again. Um, and then... After that, I would say the tuna salad sandwich. I'd probably rate it like maybe a six. Um, if you like tuna, you'd probably love that. But I'm just like not really a big tuna person. Um, but all things considered, it was not bad. Um, and then lastly is that French onion soup. It is just like just very salty. Um but maybe it would have been better if I went inside and got it. I feel like French onion soup really isn't something like that's like good on the go. Um, and then the green iced tea. Y'all know how I feel about green iced tea. I just can't catch a freaking break with it. <laughs> but um, I'm a pretty full from all of that food. So I will see you guys in a bit for lunch. Okay, stop number two is White Castle. So it is a lot more like pop in here than I was expecting it to be. So hopefully somebody pulls up in the drive-thru soon and then I can get behind them and we can get some lunch. Hello, welcome to White Castle. How may I help you? Hi, can I get the exact same thing that the person in front of me just ordered, please? Okay, just one minute here. Okay. 
Okay, anything else? No, nope, that's everything. Okay, 1487. Drive up to the garage the window, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good day and happy, new year. <laughs> happy New Year. Okay, I am parked and I got my food. And then I also got a drink, which is a black coffee. Yay. All right. Well, I did not get breakfast for breakfast, but it looks like I got breakfast for lunch because. There is some kind of slider that has an egg and cheese on it. Hash browns. Um, okay, then this is a sloppy joe. Another Sloppy Joe, a bacon and cheese slider with fried chicken, and what is this? And an egg and cheese on a waffle. Ooh, that sounds good. So clearly they were feeding a whole car of people. Um, so I guess I'll start with the breakfast stuff first since I didn't actually get to eat like breakfast food. And then I will move on to the rest of it. So since this is already into my hand, let's try this. This is what it looks like. The waffles look a bit pale. <laughs> so let's see if they're crunchy or not. It's okay. It has decent flavor, but the waffles just taste like they're stale. Um, it is one o'clock in the afternoon, so who knows how long they've been like sitting out for. They're probably from like this morning and they've just been like sitting under like the light, <laughs> staying warm. Did you guys even know that White Castle had breakfast? I had no idea White Castle had breakfast. I thought they just had like sliders. <laughs> All right, let's try the egg and cheese slider. Okay, that's what this looks like. The bottom bun looks very soggy. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite. Mm. That is a very like odd combination. Like you get like the flavor that you expect to get with like a burger and then you like the egg in there. I don't love that one. <laughs> All right, let's try a hash brown. These are good. These shaped hash browns are my absolute favorite because every bite is always like so crunchy. All it needs is some ketchup to dip it in. <laughs> okay, so the only thing they got to drink was black coffee. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Who drinks black coffee? Ugh. All right, I'll bring that home and see if Orlando wants it because 
I am not drinking the rest of that. <laughs> Alright, well, at least Panera Bread was, like, really good. Other than that French onion soup, everything was, like, delicious. So, even though I'm not loving White Castle, I really can't complain about, like, my experience so far because... I did get a really good first meal. Okay, this is just their normal slider. Um, I've had their sliders like before, like not any time recently, probably like years ago at this point. But I do remember liking them, so let's give it a bite. Yeah, it's pretty good. The only thing is, I feel like, I don't know if the, um, like the patty is just like extra greasy today or not, but if you can see, like it is so soggy, so it's just kind of like mushy. But it's not bad. I feel like this is like what you would expect to get when you go to White Castle. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing that I got are two Sloppy Joes with cheese on them. So I'm just gonna eat one of them. I'll bring the other one home to Orlando. Um, I don't know if like they're new. There is a sign on their dumpster that says Sloppy Joe season. So I don't know if they just have it for the winter or if like they're just advertising it for right now. But let's give it a try. This is actually really good. <laughs> I honestly wasn't sure what to expect. Um, when I saw that I got Sloppy Joe's, I wasn't really thrilled about it. <laughs> but these taste like a sloppy joe that you would like make at home like these are very good honestly and like the meat is flavored very well like i am pleasantly surprised by this so all in all i would probably rate everything that i got except for the sloppy joes and the hash browns um except for those two i'd say everything is about like a five out of ten I don't really think anything was too great, um, but the Sloppy Joe and the Hash Browns, I genuinely enjoyed. I'd probably give them like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Um, and then coffee-wise, I just don't like black coffee, so I can't really give that a fair rating, I feel like. Um, if you like black coffee, you might like it. If you don't like black coffee, don't get black coffee. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish up here and then I will see you guys soon for stop number three. Okay, and last stop of the day is Wendy's. Somebody just went through the drive through so I am going to get behind them. Wendy's, I'm going to hop you. Hi, can I please get the exact same thing as the person that just ordered? Anything else? Nope, that's everything. Mine up. Thank you. Thank you, have Bye. a good one. Okay, I got my food and my total was $11 and change, so he just got one meal. Um, 
I was hoping I would get a fun drink because Wendy's has so many good drinks like their strawberry lemonade or like a frosty, but I got a bottle of water. So I guess the universe just does not want me to have like anything fun to drink today. But I got large fries. Holy moly, that's that's a lot of fries. Can you see all them? Oh wait, you can't. Look, look at that. And then he got, I don't know why I keep saying he, it was a big truck, I assume it's a guy. Um, a burger. So I, it's probably, I guess what, a Dave single. Um, he did read off no for a lot of things. So let's see, no mayo, no onion, no tomatoes, no cheese. What the heck? Large fries with no salt <laughs> and a bottle of water. Bro. Let's take a bite. Wow. This is the lamest burger ever. Dang, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm like such like a Debbie Downer now. This morning was like popping. I swear I like don't mean to sound like I'm just like complaining about everything. I'm so grateful I got food. I'm so grateful I was able to do this challenge and nobody gave me a hard time about it. But dang, this is this is a sad, sad burger. <laughs> All right, let's try a fry. There's no salt on these. So let's see if they're still good. Actually, you honestly can't even tell there's no salt on it. These fries are better than I was expecting. Um, honestly, if the, he just got like a drink to go with it, like a Frosty, and I could just dip these in there, <laughs> that would be really good. Today was a long day. I've got a lot of food. My first two stops were like food for multiple people. I definitely got a lot more to eat this time around than the first time I ever did this challenge. Do you guys remember when I did that? That was my first ever video. We've come a long way since then. <laughs> Lol me. No subscribers. No idea really what I was doing. <laughs> I remember my breakfast was a green iced tea, unsweetened green iced tea. And then all of you were like, you should have gone back around for something else, which you're absolutely right. I don't know why I didn't even think to do that. But then for lunch, I had gotten, lunch was good. I went to McDonald's for lunch and I got a Big Mac and chicken nuggets, I think. That lunch was definitely better than today's lunch. And I'm pretty sure I got a large Sprite with it. And I love Sprite. <laughs> and then dinner, oh, I went to Freddy's for dinner and I got a grilled chicken sandwich. And I was like, what the heck? I just want some good food. <laughs> Today, I definitely got a lot of good food.
All right, well, my camera is dying, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was so much fun to make. Breakfast was definitely my favorite. I would give Panera Bread probably like as a whole an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I'd say White Castle as a whole experience is probably like a 6 out of 10. And then Wendy's, um, I really didn't get a lot of food and that burger just needs some pickles, some lettuce, I mean, some pickles, some cheese, some mayonnaise. <laughs> and then I'd probably have rated it above White Castle, but I'd say for this, probably like a five out of 10. Wendy's has such good food and um, I really didn't get anything crazy from here, but I am too full to go back around and try again. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have given me so far. I just feel like this year is going to be such a good year for me and for us. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.